guys, this is Kenny the Messy Sofa over at Royal Appleberry, and welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. So, um, today I'm using my brand new mold, my acrylic slap mold, which is dynamite. It is so, so beautiful. Um, I know I don't have it on the table yet because I'm going to go ahead and mix um, all my colors. And this is going to be a very simple but gorgeous soap. At least I hope. <laughs> Hopefully everything will go in my favor. Um, so I'm going to, this is my first time ever really using a white mica line. Mica line? No, not, what am I saying? It's not a mica line. Mica drizzle. Um, okay, what do I have? <laughs> One sec, guys. Got something in my mouth. All right, yep, that was a piece of uh, Tussa Silk. Yummy. But, <laughs> yeah, so this will be my first time using a white mica. This is... Arctic White Mica from Rustic Essentials, right here, and I'm going to be using as well a gold, I got Gleaming Gold from TKB Trading, this is new, I just got it, so I want to try that out, it's beautiful, that's for sure, and um, I think I want this to be, I need a doctor, and these are just oils for my batter that are in these two cups. And also, I am using my new fragrance, um, which is Rustic Essentials Green Tea and Willow. And this is not just a green tea. It has a floral note to it. Um, it is, it's, honestly, it doesn't smell like green tea. Let me smell it again. It's, it's earthy, but it's just this nice, earthy, green, perfumey. Just a wee bit of, not perfume, but floral note. Um, the notes will be on my website. But um, it is, it's hard to explain, but it's a beautiful fragrance. Absolutely beautiful fragrance. So my base color is going to be Aqua. I got Soft, soft Aqua by TKB Trading. And that's what I'm going to be using for this base color. So it's just basically going to be a base and then my Mega Drizzles. So let me get everything mixed in and I'll bring you back. Alright darling, so now um, I have my fragrance oil in here. I'm just going to stir it for a little bit because um, I want this to be kind of fluid. Although it's just going to be one color, I would really prefer to hand stir the fragrance in just because <laughs> lately I don't know what's been going on, but everything has just been going crazy on me with thickening up well before I want it to. So, but um this fragrance is oh so lovely I wish I would have bought a pound of this and I'm going to because it just smells fantastic now although this is kind of still on the yellow side I did uh, lighten it with some TD um, although I'm gonna do it uh, aqua color I did lighten it and I think I'm going to lighten it a little bit more just because uh, it's a little darker than I want it. So I'm going to hand stir that as well until I add my color in. Then I'll stick blend out. I just want to kind of get it mixed in by hand first. But um, this, I just can't get over how great this smells. I am so glad to be finally using my Fan Food Fantastic Bowl. <laughs> it's just that um, it, I just had my videos in advance. So um i couldn't post it before then and then uh, on top of that i was planning to i think you guys saw that in the last video or i might just stick this in before any that video but i was planning to do another soap and it backfired on me and i'm just like nope you're not pretty enough to go into my new mold <laughs> that's crazy i know but hey that's how i felt at the time so um toast my goats did not grab a spoon for this what was i thinking so let me grab a spoon. I've had the most ridiculous amount of soap dishes to wash today. It's just not even really funny. <laughs> so glad that's over with. I'm going to start with this amount. That wasn't even a full teaspoon. And um, see how I like the color. Because I kind of want it to be a soft aqua. Not harsh, not dark. So I'm going to go ahead and stick blend that in. And out of all the stuff that I wash, I just failed to wash my attachment that goes to this stick blender. <laughs> so I'm using my old one, which is rather beat up. 
Let's see what we get. Oh, that's dark. I can tell that's going to be a little darker than I want it to be. I think. Oh, I just can't get over how great this fragrance smells. My goodness. You know what? Then again, it might just... Oh, no, no, no. This is perfect. This is the exact color I wanted. Okay. Wonderful. I just, I guess I had to mix that white in as well. I'm going to keep giving short blasts so I can get all those mica spots mixed in. I normally don't um, pour dry mica into my colors, I mean into my colors, into my uh, batter just to avoid the mica spots or mica specks. But um, this is one color so there was no sense of pouring in oil first and then pour it in here. Okay, so this is actually coming out a little lighter than I thought it would. Do I want to add more or do I want to just go with this? Because this is actually the color I had in mind. But now I kind of feel like I do want to go a little bit darker. Decisions, decisions. I just don't know, guys. I just don't know. So, um, I'm still getting lots and lots of views on my cat's pajamas uh, video. <laughs> and again, thank you all for all of the love. I just can't even believe how much love I got on that video how many views it got so quickly that just kind of blew my mind um, for a video within one week to have over 20,000 views um, I know for some soap makers or youtubers that's normal but that's a first for me <laughs> so but I just I thought it was hilarious because I've actually had um, a few people say they were new to my channel and say I thought you were actually making cats pajamas <laughs> One person said they were really disappointed with me because I wasn't making actual cat's pajamas. But <laughs> I just kind of, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, especially because my thumbnail is a soap. <laughs> and also it says handmade soap in the title. But that's okay. Um, because a lot of them did say, although I thought you were making real cat's pajamas, I did enjoy the soap making. So, and that soap did sell out in one week. <laughs> which is another first for me. So, I will be restocking that, and I do believe this round, all of the uh, dots are going to stay on because I'm not going to wait so long to make the soap. I'll probably do it the same day instead of waiting a week later. Alright, so I think this, oh, uh, this smells of, I just can't even get over how good this smells. Okay, <laughs> let me get a hold of myself. But yeah, um, I think it's ready for me to pour it in the mold. So let me grab my mold. Okay, so there's my gorgeous mold. And I have the dividers in because I was actually planning on doing two colors and then I nixed that idea at the very last minute. So um, now I don't need to do that. So let's go ahead and get this poured in. What is this? What was that? I think it was a bit of unmixed mica. All right. So. I'm going to go ahead and say in advance that this fragrance has gone to the top of my list on my favorite fragrances <laughs> of 2018. It really has. It smells fantastic. Oh, this is so... I, <laughs> this mold, I'm telling y'all, this mold. And again, this mold is from Custom Craft Tools. It's an Etsy shop. Please go get yourself one. Look how beautiful that looks. I just can't even get over how gorgeous that is. And... I'm very happy that this fragrance is behaving because I need it for this soap to be perfect because this mold deserves to have a beautiful soap in it. <laughs> so I'm very, very happy with the way it looks. I had a custom order to do and it was kind of uh, challenging to say the least. So I just took a break from that and decided to do this because I did not actually make a soap today. It was mostly prep work. You can come down, Gabe. <laughs> I heard him open the door and then he got kind of quiet. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm going to give that give that a couple of smacks down. Just to get rid of some of the air bubbles. And this red jojoba bead. Don't know where that came from. Alright, so now I'm going to do my mica. And think I'm going to do these side by side 
or maybe I should do just kind of a zigzag. So Gabe, come to feed me. <laughs> hi, everybody. He says hi. And I actually had somebody say today that they wanted one of your sweet rainbows bars of soap. <laughs> That's gone. I told him it may come back. It just may come back. Okay, so now let me see how do I want to do this. Hopefully, <clears throat> excuse me. Hopefully, I made enough. Yeah, I did. So, you know, some of you probably can guess what I'm doing already. And for those of you who do not know what I'm doing, you'll find out soon enough. I want that one to be kind of double wide as well. Doesn't have to be neat. I do want to add a couple of splashes just to give it a little more this one needs a bigger micro line anyway don't know why I wanted to do it like this I just felt like I should and um, normally I make my just one color soaps in um, in tall skinny but I decided I want to do this. And this lap mode, I really think it's going to turn out really, really lovely. Now, where did my other gosh turn? Oh, there it is. Alright, so now we're going to add the white. And I think I'm going to kind of, yeah, do that instead. Hopefully, I'm making the right decision here. <laughs> I think I am. At least I hope I am. Okay, so now that I've done that, I kind of feel like, mm, yeah, I need to do these as well because. Yeah, because all the bars are going to have it on both sides except for this one. So, yep, I need to do that as well. Okay, try not to squirt it on the actual mold. That would be good. Okay. And then the white. Okay. I know I should put more gold there, but now big. Okay, now don't fall over, darling. I gotta put all this stuff away. <laughs> I got all these big old boxes and containers and buckets of oils and things, but I haven't actually put it away. So it is very easy to trip over something down here. So this is what I am doing. That was the reason why I did that Michael line. I keep calling it Michael line. It's not a Michael line. It's a Michael drizzle. So. <laughs> I think this is going to turn out really, really pretty. Now I feel good. I don't know why when I don't get things accomplished on the weekends, I feel like it was a waste of a day. Although I may have been doing other soap related things, I just feel like if I don't make a soap one Saturday, it was just a waste of my day. So I'm kind of happy that um, I was able to make a soap and I normally don't soap this late, but I'm glad I did. This is starting to set up just a wee bit which is even better because it gives more texture to my lines all right that is really pretty i'm very very happy with the way that looks so let me just 
kind of some of these. Beautiful, beautiful. Simply beautiful. Simple, but beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I do like the way that looks a lot. Okay, so now I want to put, yes, I'm going to wait until, uh, what am I going to do, y'all? What am I going to do? Uh, la, 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 la. Let me think here. I want to put some pink sea salt on it. And where is it? Okay. But I, I'm trying to decide on how I want to do this with my dividers. This mold is just beautiful. And um, guys, for those of you who are new, most times when you want to find out where I got something from, it is in the description box because I get asked so many times, where do I get these molds from? And I say them throughout the video. So that just kind of lets me know that you skip fast forward through my videos. Shame, shame. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you uh, didn't watch the full video and you fast forward through it, and you want to know where I got the mold from, just look at the description box. And I actually am cool enough to even leave you a link. So all you got to do is click that link and it'll take it right over there, okay? So now, back to this soap. I think that I'm going to put my dividers in first and then... Um, the right one nope put my dividers in first and then i will put my salt what are you doing good girl? girl don't you be messing with that so mm, shame okay <laughs> um oh this fragrance smells fantastic i just can't get over how beautiful it smells oh i'm so excited about this soap <laughs> i really am it looks so pretty and i actually perfect Okay, if I can get this, oh, shame. Okay, yeah, I probably should use two hands there. Yes, I did my lines perfectly, right where they should be. So it turned out exactly the way I envisioned it. Sure did. Oh, and these bar sizes are beautiful. I like this size. I like this size better than the other mole I have. The other slap mole, so... Of course, you guys already know, this is my new boo thing as far as the slap molds. <laughs> I do like my white one, but I love the sizes of these bars. I mean, really, really do. So now, that is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So let me take off these glasses and these gloves and figure out where I want to put this salt. And I think this fragrance works beautifully with this soap design. Really does. And this time I'll be sure to push down the salt so it doesn't fall off. Because <laughs> I always forget to push the salt down. I am in love. Yep, I am. I hope you guys like it too. If you do, please be sure to give a thumbs up and stick around because the unloading will be attached to this video. Don't go anywhere. It'll be 24 hours later for me and about a second or two for you. Okay, so now it's all done, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So it totes my guess, gorgeous. Just give that a little bit of bang down just so that salt can settle into it. And, um, because one thing I just don't like is when my salt falls off. Because it's so pretty. It really is. I just can't even get over how good this smells but um i definitely gotta take a picture for the gram because this soap is just gorgeous i believe it does need to be on instagram sure does and i think i need to go back and put a little bit more salt right there but anywho thank you so much for joining my channel i appreciate you sticking around and watching um if you are new to my channel again hello i'm so fucking happy to have you here i really am 
and um thank you for all of my subscribers my ogs who are always here <laughs> i appreciate all of your support i really really do but that's not all like i said stick around i'm not closing out this video stay tuned because the cutting is going to happen as soon as i put this lid on <laughs> right now <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna uh go ahead and oh no i got it dirty shame shame i was gonna show you my pretty lid but now i got it all dirty shame okay so that's my gorgeous lid that goes on here how beauteous is that oh my gosh okay see you at the cut now so i am back with on my unmolding of this soap and i'm not gonna lie this soap has been sitting in the mold for two weeks <laughs> um i've been extremely extremely busy and it was my birthday and all that fun stuff um so i just didn't have time and the longer it sits the better so the sides kind of fell off on their own which is what's great about this fantastic Fukin mold. I love this mold. I love this soap. I love everything that's going on right here. And um, that's why it took me so long. I was This video was supposed to be posted, I think, three weeks from now, from the guy, uh, time you guys are seeing it. But um, I wanted to get this in here because this mold is fantabulous. And I wanted to showcase it. And I want to have the perfect soap for it. So, for those of you, again, who are interested in this mold, this came from Custom Craft Tools, which is an Etsy shop. The link is in the section, the description section below. Find it right over there. So, let's see what this soap is doing. Don't you just love how easy this is unfolding? And yes, it's been two weeks. I know that. But, I mean, um, this is just, this is fantastic. Oh, I love this. And I love the size of these bars. I just can't even I just can't even like how pretty is this soap the size of this bar is just fantastic I love this set that over there I mean then of course they all look the same so <laughs> um, you can kind of see them from here but I've got a little bit of salt falling off but that's fine I'm going to go ahead and trim up the edges. This soap is absolutely beautiful. You guys agree? Do you agree? And this fragrance oil is bomb. I mean, I just can't even, I just can't even explain how great this fragrance oil smells. It is absolutely a beautiful fragrance. I will be buying this again in a much, much bigger bottle. But though that salt and those swirls, let me clean this little side up quickly. Just so you guys can get the full effect of how it's got to look. There you go. See it? And the size of these bars are amazeballs. I really like the size of this bar better than the other one. That's so pretty. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. So, I'm just going to do a few more. And, I mean, pretty much you can see what it looks like. So, there's no real sense in me unmolding you know, every single one on camera they all look the same you can clearly see them right here but if you do like this soap be sure to go ahead and give a thumbs up it is greatly appreciated i think it turned out absolutely beautiful just the way that i wanted it to look this mold is fantastic i am so happy and honored to be the proud owner of it yes i am <laughs> um you're gonna see lots and lots and lots and lots of more soaps made in this mold oh this is just so beautiful such a beautiful soap for a beautiful mold so that's it guys love hugs and kisses be awesome amazing everything you do um come back please do come back next week because there will be another soap making video um and if it's not this mold it'll be my other gorgeous tall skinny mold from some craft tools all right guys see you in the next video oh no 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 if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm so fucking happy you found me. I'm so glad that you swung on by and decided to stick around and uh, watch me make soap and see this gorgeous mold perform and um, hear me squeal because this soap is absolutely gorgeous. I hope that you want to subscribe and become a part of my Sting Awesome crew. That's exactly how you become a part of it. Just subscribe and hit that bell if you want to get notifications whenever I post new videos. That way you can just mosey right on over and see what I'm up to. All right, guys. to glue. Oh, just wanted to pop back in and tell you that this soap will be ready the end of March. Um, so check my store. You'll find the link to my store in the uh, description section as well. If you want this soap, it'll be all yours and list it at the end of this month. All right. Um, just thought I should mention that because a lot of people are like, when is it ready? <laughs> all right. Bye, y'all.